Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the problem when this happens. How does this even happen? Some of you might be wondering. And it usually happens because you use the cheap kind of thermal paste that comes pre-applied and sometimes dries out almost immediately. But it can also happen with the expensive kind if you leave it for like years. So I'm going to be showing you how to get it not only unstuck, but also squeaky clean. Because how are you supposed to use your CPU when it's stuck to the bottom of your heat sink? For this process, you are going to need a hair dryer and something to pry with. I'm using one of the many implements of a Swiss Army tool, but anything similar to a small knife will do. Before we get started, one thing I want to do is talk about prevention. What you should do to prevent this is not what I have done, but instead, when your CPU is still in the socket and you notice that you can't pull off the heat sink without taking the CPU with it, what you should do is start firing up your PC and then letting the CPU heat up until the point where you can twist off the heat sink. And then as soon as you do that, of course, kill the power so your CPU doesn't overheat. But as long as you kill the power right after, it's perfectly fine. And that way you will be able to separate them much more easily and not have to worry about this, which can more easily cause bent pins and all that stuff that we don't want. By the way, this CPU is actually an Athlon that I had in my build four years ago, but I do not remember which specific Athlon model is. So I can't wait to find out which one it is. And I'm sure you guys can't either. First things first, we are going to begin by heating the CPU for about five minutes with the hair dryer. You don't actually have to worry about overheating because as you may have noticed, the CPU is usually attached to a massive heat sink. If your heat sink's a little smaller, maybe, but you should be perfectly all right. Either way, just to be on the safe side, don't do it for more than five minutes. And once you've done it for five minutes, then just take your pry tool and without touching the heat sink, because it may be scalding hot, just put it under the edge and lift it up. See how easily it came off? That's because the thermal paste is softened by all the heat. Thermal paste only becomes hard like that when cold. Now that the CPU has cooled down a bit, let's see what model it is. It is an Athlon X4 860K. I had to actually put this into the system to find that out, since for some strange reason it's not actually printed on the CPU itself. One more thing, to clean off your CPU and your heat sink, you're going to want to wipe both your heat spreader on your CPU and the bottom of the heat sink with tissue soaked in alcohol. Make sure though when you do this that afterwards you let both parts dry entirely before you attempt to reinstall them. That should be fine since alcohol dries much quicker than water. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe for many more tech videos and hit the like button down below.